All right, so today we're going to be learning about areas of regular polygons. <clears throat> so polygon is a closed plane figure with at least three sides. And so a regular polygon is a special polygon. It is when, excuse my notifications. So it is when all the sides and all the angles are congruent. So that's going to be your regular polygon. So it says the following figures illustrate important parts of regular polygons. So on here, we have our center of our circle. Oh, there it goes. Sorry. And so that's the center. <clears throat> then we have the R, which is a radius. So this is a radius of your polygon. Just like a circle has a radius, a polygon also has a radius. And the radius goes from the center to the vertex. Then we have the apothem. The apothem is the distance from the center to one of the sides. And so the apothem is a lot like when we're finding the height of a triangle for the area, you need to make sure that it makes a right angle with the base. So that's what's important about the apothem. Okay. And then you have your central angle over here. Your central angle is when it goes from the two vertices to the center, and then it makes this angle here that is called a central angle. So what we're doing today is we're finding the area of these polygons. So there's two things that we need for the area of the polygons. We're going to need the little a, which is the apothem, and then the capital P, which stands for perimeter. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the first example. We're finding the area of this regular polygon. In this case, our regular polygon is a triangle. So I'm going to write down the formula, area equals one half and then little a times p. And so little a is our apothem, but in this case it is 2.3 and so instead of little a I'm going to put a 2.3. 2.3. And then the P is our perimeter. So we need to find the perimeter. So if this side of our triangle is eight, then all the sides should be the same because this is a regular polygon. So our triangle has three sides. So we're gonna do three times eight. Okay, all of them should be eight. All of them should be the same. So three times eight gives us 24. So our perimeter here is equal to 24. So it's gonna be 2.3 and then instead of P, we're gonna put a 24. Okay. Everything else stays the same. It's still area equals one half. And then we're taking 2.3 times 24. So we're going to go ahead and plug this into our calculators. And that gives us 27.6. So our area equals 27.6. And then this one does give us units. And our units is feet, so it's going to be feet squared. All right, the next one. So on this one, we have another regular polygon. And in this case, this one is um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight sides. So this one is actually a an octagon. So if this is 15, all of the sides should also be 15. So I'm going to find the perimeter real quick off to the side. We have 15 is each side, and there's a total of eight sides. So 15 times eight, and that gives us 120. So our perimeter for our octagon is 120. Okay, so now we're ready to plug into the formula. So our formula is equal to one half little a, which is our apothem, times capital P, which is our perimeter. So area equals one half, and we're going to plug in. We know little a stands for the apothem. The apothem is 18.1. And our perimeter is 120. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and plug this in our calculator. So one half of 18.1 times 120, and that gives us 1086. So it's going to be area equals. 1,086, no decimals, and our units are millimeters squared. 
All right, and for the last one, it says, what is the area of a regular hexagon having an apothem of 12 meters and a side length of 10 meters? So let me write down the formula real quick. Area equals one half, little a, which stands for the apothem, and p that stands for the perimeter. And so usually on all of these, we need to take the perimeter, and depending on how many sides it has, that's what we're gonna take first, and we are going to multiply it by each side to find the perimeter. So if I look here, just reading through the problem, it says, what is the area of a regular hexagon? So since they tell us that this is a hexagon, it means that it has a total of six sides. And then they also tell us that the apothem is 12 meters. So here, instead of little a, we are going to plug in a 12 times. And then it tells you that the side length of our hexagon is 10 meters. So then here, I'm going to go ahead and put 10. And that's what we need to find the perimeter. So we're going to do 6 times 10. 6 times 10 gives us 60. So that means that the perimeter of our hexagon is 60 meters. <clears throat> so now we're ready to plug in. Instead of P, we're going to put a 60. And we're ready to finish off the rest of our formula. So area equals 1 half of 12 times 60. It's not letting me write this in. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't like me. All right, so we put that in our calculator, and that gives us 360. And our units are... Uh, meters and because it's area it's going to be squared so if you guys have any questions on this lesson go ahead and leave a comment and i'll go ahead and try to answer as many as possible um you can also meet with us during our office hours between 8 30 and 9 15. thank you